So in this video, we're going to look at how we can check our subtitles and make sure that the files we send to our clients don't contain any errors. But before we can do any checking, we need to make sure that we configure our settings. And we do that by clicking on Tools, Options, which opens the Options window. And on the Parameters tab, here are the various settings that you can change for your client. Default interval, max number of characters per line, reading speed, and so on. You set that all there, and then you click OK. So now you're ready to check. But it's more than likely that you work for more than one client. And it's also very likely that most clients don't share the same settings. So rather than having to open the Tools Options window every time you start a job for a different client, Spot has something called Profiles. And a profile is a group of settings that you've created for one particular company. And you can make as many profiles as you want. And then every time you do start a job for a different client, you simply load the profile associated with that client and that will load all the settings that that client uses. And your profile list is at the top left of the screen here. I've only got three profiles, but every time I click on one of these um, names here, Netflix for example, that loads the parameters that I've stored for this particular client. Creating a new profile for a client is very easy. You simply click on this button here that opens the profile settings window. It's set to Netflix at the moment because that's the profile I'm currently using. And then I change whatever I want to change. Let's set the default interval to one. Let's change the maximum number of characters aligned to 38. Let's uh, reduce the reading speed. Then you click OK. Spot's asking me if I want to apply these changes to this current profile. Well, I don't because I'm creating a new one. So I click no. But then I come up here again, click this little drop down, save current profile, and I give that a new name. So let's call that test. Okay, so I've now created a new profile for a new client and it's called test and it's now listed here. And it's using the settings that I just added, as you can see here. So now that you've configured your settings, you can actually start checking your subtitles. And you do that by clicking checks, check, and then you can run uh, individual checks here. There are various checks, uh, invalid cues, invalid interval, reading speed, and so on. But you don't want to check each one at a time. You don't want to click too many rows, blah, 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 and then too many characters, and so on. You want to run some checks all at once. And you can do that in Spot by telling Spot which checks to run all at once. Click Tools Options again, and on the Checks tab here, in the on run all checks include section, you can tell Spot which checks to run all at once. I've got several selected there. And then to run those checks all at once, instead of going to checks, check, you go to checks, run all selected checks, or continue checks from next subtitle. So F9 will find the first error. If that's not an error, then just press Shift F9 and that'll carry on finding all the mistakes in your file, Shift F9. It's finding lots of errors here because I, I invented this new profile, which has got some rather silly, um, silly parameters. That's why there are so many errors. Let's change our profile. Let's go to Media Films and let's go to the beginning and let's run F9 again. And this time there are far fewer errors, as you can see. And as you're doing F9, you can stop and change what you want to change if needed. When it gets to the end of the file, you get a message, check complete, that's good. Let's go back to the start, and I'll show you finally to end this video an alternative and one that I much prefer. Rather than doing F9 and Shift F9, there's a very quick way of immediately seeing if a file contains er any errors at all. And that's by clicking Report and that immediately gives you a list of all the errors in the file. This file only has a few, they're listed here, and if you click on an error, it'll jump to that particular error in the file and you can change what you want. Report mode has a couple of interesting sections. It's got the errors, as I showed you there, and it's also got statistics. 
And that's quite good for just immediately seeing if a file is good or not, because anything in red means there are some errors in the file. So uh, yeah, I would use, to check my stuff, always I use report mode, but you can use checks, run all selected checks, that's entirely up to you. And once you've finished, obviously, save your work and then send it off to your client and fingers crossed.